please be far on YouTube channel. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day here on race week day two. Getting dialed in. About to get on the road. Got 260 miles to do today. We got a cardboard roof going for our boy Leroy. It's quick and easy. Let's make it happen today. All righty, guys. So we drove all the way back to the track this morning so that we are right on the route from the start of our day. Make sure we nail the route and uh, we'll be on our way to Next checkpoint is? Oh, Buggies. It's Buggies. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I've never been to Dude, Buggies. Dude, 150 pumps. Great Dude. snacks. I can't wait. Brisket. Yeah. Ice cream. Yeah. It's like freaking going to like Six Flags. All righty. Got fueled up. That got fueled up. It's about 20 gallons between the two cars. Our next checkpoint is? Make a U-turn. right down here in the ditch so we didn't have to go too far oh, he, he took off looking for it this is what happened this back sea sucker see how this bar is no longer parallel with the other one this came loose and the straps holding the wheels pulled it tight and it was able to pull it under the wheel which then resulted in the wheels just coming right off the look at the scoop look at this one. <laughs> oh no are they okay yeah the wheels are coming in here to stop at this doorway. And he's like, the wheel, the wheel. And I look behind me and you just see like, scoop, scoop. Fire me up. It's a mirage. These guys are tough. 
This drive has been brutal. So hot. Everything in the car is like stingy hot. Yeah, you can't touch it. We gotta get in some shade, get some water. Dude. The drive that never ended. Dude. I thought his buggies was a mirage. Yeah. <laughs> it almost was. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with Barker's car? What's going on? Boiling. Boiling on your fuel? Yeah. The pump was screaming. <laughs> I could hear screaming. it. Screaming. I thought this Bucky's was a mirage. Oh, you know what it might be your problem? This rust. No, it's weight reduction. <laughs> don't don't look at that. Yeah, I won't. I'll um, edit that out. Somebody's going to cut it and get the cardboard and rivet it into place. Uh, I love Bucky's. Oh, uh, all right, so Love's, Love's is number one truck stop in my eyes. Bucky's number one car stop. Love it. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, we're all fueled up. Let's see. Leroy took 11.5 gallons. Oh, Ruby with less fuel. What? You getting better gas miles than me, dude? Yeah, you know, we just keep it a cool running and keep it with the AC on, man. Hey, what you think about that, Jackson? Yeah. Alright, guys, now that we've reached Bucky's, we will be heading to Summit Racing Equipment. Fire me up. Speaking of Summit Racing, we got the Danger Ranger 9000 coming up, sponsored by Summit Racing. So we're going to visit there, which we'll probably have to spend some time in there. So I think we're going to be late to drag racing, but a little bit. It's so hot. Whatever. Yeah, we still got some work to do. We'll oh, yeah, we have a clutch weights on, swap yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we'll be all right. We'll make it quick. We gotta get Brent a seat cushion because we don't have one anymore. <laughs> and then we're gonna get the wire too so we can fix the bald eagle button. Summit's been sponsoring our events for years now. Great company, first time I've ever got to uh, bring a car to one. Though. I've been to one retail store, but we'll go inside and check it out. All right, so check this out. We got parts everywhere, but this is the sales line. So we're gonna get a new horn, crimpers, some wire, and one other, oh, a seat cushion for Brent. So figure it out. All right, that's the car I've always loved. So I had to get Leroy next to it. We got our turbos where we can see them, you know? We got Brent a seat cushion. Thanks, sir. And we got a wheel for one of the guys in motion and some other fittings and stuff. We're out. All righty, after a long day, we have made it to Texas Motorplex. Please, this one? No. Well, fire me up. We're going drag racing, I think. All right. All right, so we are at the track. Leroy ran so good today. Did such a good job, no issues. Gotta say, I love having the belt not being a problem because I can I can two-step it a lot more when we're just cruising under bridges and stuff. We gotta clean out all of our trash. First thing we're gonna do is switch it over to race mode. Gotta put the race tires on. Gotta put the fuel pump belt on, switch over to the other fuel system. And then uh, while Brent's doing the fuel system stuff, I am gonna put a bunch of weight on this clutch so that hopefully it stops slipping. What do you think, Brent? Leroy did pretty good today. I yeah. mean, he's just a champ. It is champ. He loves those street miles. Yeah, he does. I he's mean, cruises. his control arms may have been rubbing on his wheels a little bit, but he does not care. He is here to race. So right now we're first in stick class, but we're only in first by barely a tenth. So we really, I would love to see like a bottom eight or a seven. That's it. But, it's our fight. But here's the deal. If we add a bunch of weight to this clutch, and it still slips, then we're gonna be changing clutches tomorrow. So I got the backup clutch getting overnighted. But we'll see, I mean, it's all gonna depend on this first pass. So I'm putting a bunch of weight on it. It should make a huge change. And if it doesn't, then I've already glazed over that clutch disc, which was, it happens sometimes. Ruby! Oh, my chair, dog! How'd the little street angel do today? Good, I just stopped at the gas station and free chill so this way. Oh! 
He's good. Yeah, we cooked it. All right, guys. This doesn't look like a lot of weight, but this is what's going on in the clutch. It is a lot of weight. What are you doing, Brett? Um, I just finished the uh, fuel pump. Fuel pump and, belt. Yep. Yeah, and I'm about to put the alternator belt on. All right. We're gonna be good to go. All the fuel's done. Yeah. Then we're ready. Yeah. Tires are on. Do tire pressures add fuel, add ice, and I'll get these weights down, and we'll go. A little rip. Hell yeah. We are race mode ready besides taking the jack stands out. Clutch has changed, fuel has changed, tires have changed. In the zone. I don't know. Are you in the zone right now? Woo! Oh, he's in the oh. zone. He's in the zone. Are you in the zone right now? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's that a Florida. I mean, That's a Florida Yee. Okay. Yeah. Today. I mean, it was hot. Hot day, dude. It was so bad. But we're here so pumped right now, dude. About to make a rip. Try to hold down first place. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Has a lot more weight on it, so it might spin, but you know, sometimes at least we did something. You gotta risk it for the biscuit, right? I didn't, I didn't feel like I was destroying it in fourth. It still was doing the proper clutch slip, you know, slipper clutch deal, but it wasn't just, it actually started to like hook and pull. Thanks man, appreciate it. Eight thirty six one seventy two, right there. One forty six sixty foot, that's so slow. And we are, So when the RPM was rising real fast in first, I wimped out and came off the throttle because I thought it was gonna bomb straight up to the limiter. But it was getting ready to hook and yeah. rip. Yeah. Now look at that, dude. That's what we needed. See that third and then fourth has a straight line instead of a ha. Ah. That's that's way, way better. So now it's really close. I think see this bog right here, that's what's killing us. And then see see this too, we have like a 200 RPM jump on our two-step. Why don't we mess with the two-step right now? Okay, yeah, we talked about Let's that. raise the RPM and try and get it tighter. So it's like a... Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Just a... Mm. All right, guys, check it out. We fixed the two-step so it doesn't have those big 200 RPM jumps now. Hell yeah, it's built exactly two pounds of boost, but we're 300 RPM higher. So see if that works. Love it, yeah, yeah. All right, hey, uh... I saw you had a little, uh, you know, uh, your welder. You might want to call your welder up because his yeah, your weld cracked. I had my part time. He was only supposed to sweep the shop, but he ended up getting on the welding table and turning <laughs> this back together. <laughs> you pointed at me. You it, was, it was me. I know. I was just looking at you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so you might be losing a little bit of boost pressure. It's okay. It needs a little bit to help that little girl out here. So. Dr. Pepper out here. Dr. Pepper spiced up, baby. Texas Motor Play. switched over race mode gonna try something a little different than yesterday in the tune got her all cooled down ready to make a rip i'm getting uh buckled in they just scraped dragged sprayed and rotated the track so it's gonna be some serious prep so 
I uh, went ahead and doubled up the the uh, launch boost on her and see if I can make up some short track. Uh, talked to some guys that are familiar with these precision turbos on this combo and said that where our boost level is at, it's really not going to gain anything up top uh, with having as big as a motor as we do and only a 103 exhaust wheel. So uh, I'm going to try to make up that tenth I need to get the 750s down low, which is where we normally run it when we're heads up racing it. The uh, only thing is, is we don't really get the good enough tracks where we can try to go that 111, 112, 113, 60 foot. So being that we have that track here, I'm going to go for it and see if I can't get a 753 to 755 out of it and put the pressure on the guy who's ahead of me. All right, folks, Ruby about to make a rip. First rip of the day. Here we go. Started off with a nice spicy little burnout. Get them tires warmed up. Atlanta. We need a good one right here. We are behind. is amazing so even if it was just good for the first 20 feet I, I don't know if it needs more launch rpm or what i mean it definitely helped to win at 140 flat versus like a 149. it's just uh yeah i think i think that's our only choice i mean it went at 811 it went at 52 in the eighth at 141. so like it's got it good and that's no we haven't changed any boost so that's important to know. Yep. So it's clutch tuning and RPM. So it's like, Come I think on. I think we just, we gotta throw some beans at it first. We gotta get that first 20 feet. Like it's gotta leave the line with power instead of rolling off the line and then the power coming in. Yeah. All right guys, back up in the lane for Ruby. Knock all that starting line power I put in and out of it. Hopes that it'll uh, not only take the hit, but go out under power. Uh, it still has more power in it than yesterday, but a little less than that first pass. Redemption, redemption. We need a good burnout and a good pass. Oh, you look so good. Oh, 
kind of pop that was in the tube stand. Pop, pop, pop. Not good. No. That's not great looking. It's not horrible, but fresh set of plugs and she might have just gone right down Broadway. Well, I found her boots were on this side and then one of the boots had turned up many times. Oh, really? Oh. Well, I, that would explain the intermediate fireballs on the burnout. Damn it, dude. Freaking Ruby, man. Always something. Always something. Just looking at this too, guys. Ruby was about to be on a rip. Making 24 pounds of boost like a quarter second into the pass. And then it backfired. Well, boys, well, not going sevens tonight. tonight. There's a couple accidents and a couple oil downs. And now they've limited runs, so we got a good run. And we, we're going to turn it in so that they can finish the race. They only have 20 minutes left, and there is way more than 20 minutes worth of cars in the lanes. Just one of them is James. Yeah. yeah he needs a pass. Got even one pass so. Yeah, James needs a good run. We're up here on the starting line. Jackson and George think they might have a firing order issue going on here. A couple plug wires got switched around on these coils. Gonna have to send it. Gonna have to send it. it sucks that you can't help, doesn't it? Like, it needs to be alive, dude. Come on, Ruby. This is it, dude. You gotta make something happen. Six. Man, you guys are probably okay. Better than 20. You were about to have a Yeah, I know. And dude, on top of bad news with Ruby, I just find out we got to drive 336 miles tomorrow. Holy Toledo. Hey, I got good news, I got bad news. 126, 330 flat, 502. When I went 764, it went 126, 330, 501. Why'd you let out? It just I didn't. It shut off on its own. Oh, really? Was, ah, and it went. Did it have fuel in it? Yeah, we filled yeah. it up before oh, we went up to that. Well, I got good news. I got bad news. Bad news is you went down a position. Good news is you're in third place still. You're all, you're in the top three of the whole class. Yeah. Because everyone else turned in their slips. It's your last one. So I just calculated you're still in third. All right. So, guys, James, we're just glance at his day log it's like the car lost power for a second and yeah, you're saying no, that's what it did it like it didn't just like fall on its face like it, everything lost it literally power. just went and oh, shut off and then came back but i did i was already out of the gas i wasn't gonna floor it through yeah. it power. dude you remember i just i'm just saying because one time at fl2k this thing was bumped slightly I mean, that's pretty solid i mean everything here looks good i just have to check all the wires that driving dude loosen up a wire down somewhere and Oh, so close, dude. It's all right, you still got a battle now. I mean, it literally, they put you in that battle spot. Yeah. You have to make it happen. Nothing like being the first loser, you know, I'll take second place. Well, not the greatest uh, hands and cards today. But not the worst. But not the worst. 
Uh, the best, not the worst. Not the best, not the worst. Still in contention for top three. For really, Leroy ran good, but not a seven because we suck at leaving line. And then Parker went at eight, seven, dude. Yeah, he was on a rip. Dude. He was on a rip. Guys, we got to edit and uh, get to a hotel. We might do some driving tonight because we have 300 plus miles to get to the next track. So we're going to try and get some stuff done. Thanks for watching, dude, for that. We'll freaking see you later.